all of the stuff presented here is just theory. Um, we do have a good amount of evidence behind it, but it is just a theory. Nothing has been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. There are other theories out there, and it's okay to believe those and have evidence to back those ones up. But for the purposes of this course, you're going to be tested on what is in the textbook and uh, what is in the slides. Not so much as whether you believe it or not, let's just, here's the theories that are currently accepted and this is what you're being tested on. So I just wanted to say that and get that out there before we started anything else. All right, so your textbook actually has a chapter zero in it. Um, again, I don't really care which textbook you have. I'm currently using the eighth edition. Um, it's just the one that, that I have. I did have the seventh previously. The seventh is fine, the eighth is fine. Um, if you have a ninth, that's impressive, but I don't really care. They all have essentially the same information on it. If you want to open up your textbook, and if some of you are go-getters, you might have already done that. Uh, but in the 8th edition, it's actually page 6. In the 7th edition, it's page 4. That's where the stuff actually begins. And I just want to read you that paragraph. Now keep in mind, I'm not an excellent reader, but here we go. Our place in space. Of all the scientific insights achieved to date, one stands out boldly. Earth is neither central nor special. We inhabit no unique place in the universe. We live on an ordinary rocky planet called Earth, one of eight known planets orbiting an average star called the Sun, a middle-aged star near the edge of a huge collection of stars called the Milky Way Galaxy. One galaxy among countless billions of others spread throughout the observable universe. Okay. So, if you read that, or if you just listened to it right now, you're probably like, great. This is awesome. It basically says that we are the most ordinary and average things going on in the universe, and we are not unique at all. Well, that's uplifting. Um, let me just say, I disagree. I am not an expert in astronomy by any means. However, I do know experts in astronomy. I actually have a friend who consults with NASA on black holes and he, I read that to him and he was like, nope, that is wrong. Okay, yes, our star, it's not really average, but it is kind of in the middle of the spectrum. Okay, so, okay, fine, whatever you can, kind of confuse that with average. And we are one galaxy in billions of others. And we are on a rocky planet. However, it is not an ordinary rocky planet. We have not found another Earth or anything like another Earth. Also, we have not found any other life in the universe so far. There's theories, of course, but we haven't actually made contact with anything. We, we may have found a little bit of bacteria here and there, but no actual intelligent life. So I would beg to differ and say, um, no. This is just one point where I like to point out and say, hey, the textbook is not the be all and end all, even though it pretty much is for this course, but for life and for everything that you consider in astronomy, I would not use this as my only source. Okay. There are other sources out there and we'll come across other videos and stuff where you can see that, but I'm sure if you just Google something, you'll be able to find other sources. So I just wanted to point that out. It's an interesting section in the textbook. It is a really good textbook. It's just that little paragraph I tend to strongly disagree with. That's just my opinion. The universe. Got to know what that is if you're going to study astronomy. Totality of all space, time, matter, and energy. That means everything. Every single thing you can possibly think of is going to be covered in the universe. So technically we could cover 
anything you wanted. Because as long as it's part of space, part of time, made up of something, i.e. matter, or has any form of energy to it whatsoever, we can study it. Astronomy, study of the universe. So, study of everything. Everything.